What's up guys, welcome back to episode 2 of my Barcelona Master Link on Pass to 2021. Thank you once again so much for the amazing support on the first episode. Go and check it out if you missed it. Uh, but today is the transfer deadline day and we're gonna have to make a couple of more signings uh, before we uh, go on because uh, there is still a few positions that we are lacking in. For example, left back, I did ask you guys, do we sign Nori or do we sign Hernandez? And most comments did indeed say go for Theo Hernandez. He is already pretty much uh, proven, of course, 23 years old, decent rating as well. So I have a feeling this guy will be a great signing and uh, that is the one that we're gonna try to make right now. That is gonna be my first one of this episode. But hopefully, um, you know, uh, they accept this one. Everything is good. We don't have too much time, only 10 hours until this uh, window closes. So uh, we have to do a lot of business and I uh, hope that they do indeed accept it quickly or else then we might not be able to do as much as I really want this day uh, but as you can see 47 million is his uh, release clause right there I cannot really afford to uh, renegotiate a lot and spend time on that uh, if we do that then uh, most likely we're not gonna be able to uh, you know get this deal done this day and of course 80,000 pounds a week as well not too bad hopefully they do accept that and we get ourselves that the brand new left back but the clock is of course ticking and I actually want to bring in three new signings in this uh, transfer deadline day uh, one of course is the left back another one is a striker we only have Griezmann to be honest uh, we can obviously also play Messi as a striker but another back up there would be great and also a center back that is also something that I really want a fast young center back is exactly what we need uh, but as you can see right there Theo Hernandez is accepted that is gonna be the first signing of this episode and the first signing of the deadline day so I'm pretty happy about this one I think is gonna be a very good one so drop a like on this video let's go for a 1000 likes that would be great and let me know down below in the comment section how often you want to see these episodes uh, right now I'm thinking of posting one episode every single Saturday uh, but if you guys want to see maybe two maybe even sometimes the three episodes every single week let me know in the comment section of course it takes uh, quite a long time to make but I'll do my best if you guys really want to see these uh, done more often but uh, take a look at this welcome to Theo Hernandez he is of course uh, doing some media appearances right now uh, talking to the fans and everything like that and uh, there we go as uh, Theo Hernandez has joined the FC Barcelona on a permanent transfer from uh, Milan for 47 million pounds he's also gonna get the number six shirt as well which is gonna fit him uh, very well there as a left back and uh, it is looking uh, very good so I'm happy about that the first signing of this uh, transfer deadline the window and uh, now of course eight hours left not too much more time we still have to try to make a couple more signings and as you can see here he's now there at the left back position but as you can also see, we have to get another strike or another forward, uh, definitely because, uh, yeah, we haven't got the too many backups there. For example, if a Griezmann got injured or something, we could obviously play a Messi there as well at striker, but, uh, you know, we, we have to uh, we have to be careful and, uh, and yeah, probably sign another forward, so we're gonna try to do that. Uh, we also received an offer for one of our players, one of our young players uh, from Bournemouth to 2 million pounds, not a bad offer there uh, for somebody that is 66 rated, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and sell this guy to Bournemouth uh, for that price just take the money there and then uh, now we don't have too much more time either only six hours but at least uh, we got that done as well so we got a little bit more money in the bank right now but yeah six hours left so that is enough to do hopefully two more signings uh, an offer for Messi though from Atletico Madrid they want to try to get another player but obviously Messi is uh, yeah it's, it's not gonna happen Messi is not gonna be leaving this window I want at least one season with Messi to see what he can do and and maybe next summer we'll see what happens but uh, for now Messi is going to be staying so this offer from Atletico Madrid even though it was a nice offer his market value is 90 million pounds and received an offer there for 110 million maybe could have even re renegotiated there and got like another 20 million out of it but uh, of course Messi is not gonna be going there and also it would be stupid to send him to a direct rival like we did with Luis Suarez I still cannot believe he ended up in Atletico Madrid for it is so cheap as well it's it's a really bad decision so uh, we cannot make that mistake again and I was looking at a potential backup now for a striker position and I was looking at Calvert-Lewin and also Tammy Abraham both the pretty similar players I think the exact same age as well same rating and both of them are proper goal poachers so I decided to try and go for Tammy Abraham here um, because uh, pretty much uh, he's not getting too much playtime at the Chelsea they already have a couple of other strikers in Giroud and also Varnet and of course Calvert-Lewin is everything's maybe most important important player and uh, he wouldn't be getting too much game time here as he did at Everton so I figured out you know maybe Tommy Abraham can be our best choice here as you can see though he's not too convinced
convinced about his role at our club is gonna be um, so we have to be careful there with the negotiations and we're gonna give him some bonuses there as well I figured uh, if he makes an appearance he's gonna get a bit of extra cash as well um, you know maybe that's gonna convince him a little bit more that uh, he's gonna be joining the club uh, we'll see though but yeah and also go bonus there uh, if he scores a goal so 38 million and not too bad there that is also his release clause but obviously in a couple of years time it's gonna be worth way more than 38 million so if you were to sell him we'll make some profit on him but uh, we'll see what they respond to that offer four hours left now and if they do not accept this one we're gonna we're not gonna be able to make it two more signings and as you can see negotiations have indeed broken down I'm pretty sure the reason was because he wasn't too sure how much of playtime he would be getting at this club and to be honest I think he actually would be getting more playtime than he thought and um, I would play him in maybe not the biggest games ever but of course rotation every couple of weeks wouldn't be too bad he would also be coming on later in the games maybe every single game so I don't know really but uh, he wanted to stay at Chelsea and I respect that decision, but that makes it a bit more difficult now. I'm looking at some other new players here. David Neres. I'm also looking at Ossiman. I'm also looking at Rafinha from Leeds, of course. I have a feeling that this guy's gonna end up in a massive club or something. I think a lot of teams are after him. Um, so he would obviously be a good signing. And then we also have Aldama Traore, who has been at this football club before. He is Spanish. He knows the language, knows the country. Maybe this could be the best signing here. And he can, of course, also play striker if we need him to. So uh, that is the reason. And I went for Adama Traore out of all of those options. I have a really good feeling about this guy. I think he's gonna fit us perfectly. And uh, yeah, he's also plays on the right side as well. So we don't really have anybody other than, uh, yeah, maybe then Bele you can play on the right side. Of course, Messi as well. But other than that, we don't really have a proper right sided player. So uh, yeah, I think this guy's gonna be a really nice signing. And uh, hopefully, they do accept this one. As I said, we don't have too much time left. So we're just gonna send him an offer here 47 million pounds. Once again, lots of money here uh, for this player but he's definitely worth that and uh, you know that is his release close so uh, the club can already decline that offer uh, but of course we'll see if those uh, salary offers there and everything is okay for Adama if uh, he says it is okay then he's gonna be joining but once again he's not even convinced that we're gonna use him in uh, yeah use him too much every single week so that's uh, something to worry about but the negotiation with Adama Traore has uh, gone down well as you can see he's accepted our offer which is exactly what we needed because if we didn't accept that one there we would not be able to make any more signings due to the time uh, so something that's not too great now is that I'm not gonna be able to sign another center back at uh, this uh, window which I really wanted um, but of course we're gonna have to wait for maybe January to do that or something but of course we do have a couple of center backs at the club uh, which is good that is at least the position where we don't really need too many more players but it would be nice to have someone that is a little bit faster than what we have right now you know MT um, PK and Longley, not the faster centre backs, and that's something I noticed in the first couple of games as well. Uh, but as I said, we, we might have to wait for that. Uh, but Adama Traore has joined the Barcelona on a permanent transfer from uh, Wolves on uh, yeah 47 million pounds, uh, pretty much the same price as the Theo Hernandez. So we have uh, both players for almost 100 million uh, today. But you know that is uh, the market these days. He is also going to get the number 22 kit, and um, there it is. The transfer window is now over. All of the business has been made and it's officially time to uh, start this season now with the, the squad that we have and do everything we can uh, with, the, with the players that we got and I'm pretty happy about uh, what we did even though we weren't able to get all the players we wanted uh, it turned out pretty well I have to say so Kunde right here of course you guys know how much that I want this guy but as I said we're gonna have to try to go get back for this guy in January in a few months time hopefully not a team of boys I mean well that would be a disaster because I really want him uh, but here we have some of the other big deals done this window we can see Oyar Sabal gone to Atletico Madrid there for 97 million that is so much money and we can see that the Tottenham has also done some business the Royal Jimenez has gone to them same with the Chilwell so looks like Spurs is doing a bit of a rebuild as well uh, Draxler has gone to Arsenal and we can see Paulo Lopez another signing there for Atletico Madrid Dortmund also making a couple of signings uh, but once again though it is Spurs with so many new players Busquets of course we did sell him to uh, Spurs 
Leicester 2. Uh, Diogo Jota has gone on a loan from Liverpool to uh, Leicester. That's a pretty good signing for them. And we can see, uh, yeah, you know, some other uh, decent uh, signings here as well. Iwobi has gone to a team. I'm not even sure where that team is from. Um, so that's uh, not a good uh, move for him, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, Braithwaite as well, uh, which we also did indeed sell. So overall, I'm actually pretty happy about what we have done. Of course, other than the fact that we were not able to get uh, Kunde in time, I'm pretty happy about uh, the new players we have brought in. And we can see that the Furp as well has gone up a rating already. Dest has gone up a rating. Uh, you know, Usman Dembele as well. Um, so this is looking really great. Ansu Fati over an 83 rated. Sergio Roberto 84. So that is looking really nice with the progress of the players. And here we have the team of the month for August with Griezmann and Ansu Fati leading the line. But uh, take a look at all of these Real Madrid players. A lot of them in that team of the month. So uh, yeah, we have to perform a little bit better if we want uh, to have a few more players in uh, that one. But uh, now it is time for the Champions League as well. I'm super excited about this one. Uh, we of course did take a look at uh, the group stages in the last episode. We have a uh, Porto, then we have Rene from France and also Rangers from Scotland. So it's gonna be a pretty easy group, I think. Um, you know, not the most difficult teams uh, ever and, uh, you know, it could have gone uh, much worse. A couple of groups had, uh, you know, some tough teams in there, so I'm pretty happy about our draw. And uh, here we have our starting 11 for this game. We have Odama going straight in. Same with uh, Theo Hernandez there at left back, so uh, we're gonna see what they're gonna be able to do in this uh, first game. I'm pretty excited about it. It is gonna be a very interesting competition for sure this uh, season. See how far we can go. Obviously, imagine if we could win it. That would be uh, incredible, but, uh, yeah, yeah, this club has five Champions Leagues from before, so, uh, you know, it is time for Barcelona to definitely get another one. Uh, we did say, though, at the beginning of the season, our main priority is the league. But obviously, here, we want to try and do as good as possible and go, uh, you know, far into competition if we can. Uh, it is Rene, though, with the first shot of the match. Uh, not much going on here in the first 30 minutes. Messi finding Dester on the right and looking that cross into Griezmann. What a cross that is, and it's just offside there by a couple of centimeters on Griezmann. What a goal that would have been, though. Uh, but Griezmann was not able to head it in. A very great save by the keeper, and that was our biggest chance in the first half. Uh, PK picks up the ball, finds Messi. Uh, Griezmann has uh, found the Adama here with a very nice pass, and Adama Traore gets a goal on his debut. What a signing, what a player. I really have a great feeling about this guy, and uh, what a start that is, though, to the second half as well. Well, it is a Griezmann with yet another goal involvement. He has obviously scored all of our goals so far. Um, so this is the second one to score for us. Adama Traore uh, putting his mark here on the game uh, early in the second half. Gets his first goal for the club. Very happy about that. Uh, but Rene is not done. The life save there by Ter Stegen. You have to be a bit careful because it is them that is putting on a bit of pressure uh, from that free kick as well. And uh, here they go. They are now through here. And what is going on with our defense? I cannot believe it, it is 1-1, the stadium has gone completely silent and just in a few seconds there they were completely open, look at that run, I think it is a Dest that's not doing the best uh, in that situation and yeah, PKS will overcome it a bit, um, so it is now 1-1, one, one. I make a couple of subs, Adama and Dembele coming off. And they also sub in Ansu Fati and Coutinho. See if they can make an impact here. They pull off a shot. It gets blocked. But the second time they've scored their second of the game. It is the same guy as well. And what a goal that is. What just happened? I think it is Dest who uh, first of all made a nice block. But uh, he's not able to block the second attempt there. He gets a bit lucky. Ball, uh, ball falls right back to him. And what a finish that is. Have to give him that. And now Ansu Fati going past a couple of players. Very nice run. But he's not able to get off a good shot. And they're able to block it though. And now 85 minutes. Are we going to be able to get one more chance here? And that is a bad tackle. They get a yellow card. And Ansu Fati, it is just getting even worse for us. He is looking like he is going to be uh, injured and out for a bit. Uh, because that is not a nice tackle. He has to be subbed out. And um, that is not something I wanted to see. Not on Sufati. So we sub in our new signing as well. Bakoy Osaka from the last episode. Maybe he can do something at the end there. But it's a run name with another chance. And uh, Ter Stegen saves it easily. But we have lost our first Champions League game in the group stages. And uh, we got to boot off the stadium there. I really cannot believe it. I, uh... Yeah, this difficulty is uh, is impossible for me, guys. This is going to be so tough this season when I'm losing at home to uh, to not even the best teams from France. I mean, what is going on? 
Um, so that is not a great start to this uh, Champions League campaign. And uh, yeah, Porto gets the draw with Rangers, but it is uh, Rane, the top of the group there on uh, three points. And we are literally bottom, which is uh, not something you see all the time. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can bounce back in the next game. Now in the league with a win, but obviously now this uh, group stage is going to be more challenging as well. Uh, I literally thought that we were going to win almost every single game. But, uh, you know, things can happen when you play and, uh, you know, we, we didn't have uh, we didn't have a great performance, I have to say. On to you know, it's only going to be out for a few days, which is good news. And we're going for pretty much the same lineup here in the second game. Dembele on the left, Adama Traore, Theo Hernandez. Um, so we'll see if the boys can do better in this game, maybe create a bit more chances than what we did in the last one. Once again, though, we are at home, so we should be able um, to, uh, to have that to our advantage at least. But what is going on? Is that Cristiano Ronaldo or something? What was that jumping? He literally uh, came so far up in the air and the test obviously has no chance there. I mean, what a goal that is. And we have conceded another one. What is happening to us? Lionel Messi though from the free kick, but... You know, when Messi can't even score the free kicks, the things are not looking good. Uh, it is LJ though that is literally controlling this game as well. A couple of passes there and they make it 2-0 at our own ground. We are getting embarrassed by, uh, by one of the worst teams in the league. What is going on? I might get sacked already because this is disgraceful. It's, it's just not good enough and uh, yeah, we haven't even uh, barely created a chance in this game Maybe now though Adama Traore using his pace to get past a couple of players, but uh, he loses the ball as well uh, 45 minutes now almost half time um, Tito wins the ball back De Jong here now uh, finding a Griezmann uh, Usman Dembele nice run here though from our new signing Theo Hernandez Who's uh, using his strength to get down to the byline. Finally Griezmann and Griezmann gets another goal right before our time. That is exactly what we needed to try and get back into this game. And of course it is a Griezmann with the goal. He's like, uh, yeah, our top scorer by far. And uh, you know, this is a very nice assist as well by our latest signing. So I have to say, even though the results haven't been that great, our new signings, Theo Hernandez and also Dama Traore has looked good for us so far, which I'm happy about. And look at this pace from Adama once again. Now a Griezmann on the ball there, finding Usman Dembele. A very nice turn there, but Dembele keeps going. And it's straight at the keeper. Have to do better than that. And now Lionel Messi as well. With almost a really great goal there. Not too much more time now though. 84 minutes and they play a very long ball. And uh, look at this. The pass is great as well. Are they going to get their third goal of the game? And they've done so. This might be one of the most embarrassing results in Barcelona's history. I'm so sorry to every single Barca fan watching this. I cannot believe I did this series with the most uh, difficult uh, difficulty possible because it has gone so badly so far and we're gonna have to try and turn things around but it is looking difficult. Griezmann not able to head that one in and uh, we lose the game. Just uh, not more much to say that it's one of the most embarrassing things I've ever uh, recorded ever and uh, you know I cannot believe I actually have to show this off to people that we lost a 3-1 at home so it is uh, not great enough. We're now down to 12th place and uh, am I gonna get the sack? Let's wait and find out. Maybe I am. I, don't, I wouldn't even be shocked if I got the sack after that. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, national squads as well have been announced so they're gonna be off to national teams soon and hopefully you do not get any injuries from that. I, I hate when there's international breaks but yeah as you can see here it's a shame but we just had to pull all our uh, previous results behind us and uh, you know do our best in the next one even though things are looking really bad at the moment. Ansu Fati though is back as well which I'm happy about. He's not gonna be starting the next game but we have Ricky Pu coming in from Pjanic. Haven't been too happy about Pjanic so uh, Ricky is gonna get himself a starter. Sergio Roberto as well and continue is going to be starting on the right in this game uh, and of course we're going to bring in Adama late in the match uh, so hopefully we can also make some impacts uh, with his pace late on but uh, yeah we have a bit of a, a new starting 11 here uh, so we'll see how it goes and look at this Real Sociedad you know this is a great team that we're up against and they almost started off by scoring an absolute worldie there uh, but now 25 minutes uh, first attack for us Ricky Puig finding Messi here and that is a very nice looking ball Lionel Messi still going keeper saves it but Griezmann is there second time is able to score it what a goal what an attack
back by the team and this pass is something I didn't ever see from Pjanic so Ricky Puig he's uh, started really well for us and uh, you know Pjanic have to be careful now because if he keeps going like this uh, then it is going to be difficult to get back into the squad I've seen uh, quite a few comments about uh, Ricky Puig as well so I'm happy about uh, what I saw there uh, but now Real Sociedad right after this score of course they did and it's uh, Isaac the Swedish striker who gets them back into this game that is a very nice pass and once again the gaps in our defense I uh, don't even understand it I might have to make them a bit more compact or something because uh, there's massive gaps opening up all the time here uh, but now Messi over to Dembele again and uh, Dembele once again though not the great uh, finish there but uh, we go into the first half 1-1 we have been playing better than what we have done in our last uh, few games at least uh, Sergio Roberto crossing the ball over to Dembele I think that was what is saved that is though what a goal it could have been uh, we sub out Dembele and Coutinho in with Fati and also Adama Traore 70 minutes now let's see if we can start an attack here, De Jong finds Puig uh, back to De Jong here and he sees Ansu Fati just come onto the pitch of course with lots of pace look at him go, he keeps going to try to tackle him but uh, Ansu Fati still has the ball and Adama Traore is uh, asking for the ball he does receive it as well and what an attack that is, what a goal and maybe we're gonna get ourselves uh, three points in the first win of this episode but uh, yeah what an attack and of course it is Adama Traore the new signing, uh, what a player he has been for us in these uh, few games he has played and such a great attack the substitutions paid off there with Ansu Fati and Anna Domatore coming on late in the game but uh, they're not done here Isaac finding Porto who hits it straight at her stay again we're getting a bit lucky and hopefully we can keep the ball now not lose it and just uh, you know save these uh, three points here which is going to be very important for us uh, Ricky now finding a very nice uh, pass there over to Adama is he going to get his second goal off the match here and the finish is not the best but we end up winning we get our second win of the season and of course if I didn't even win this game we would have been down to I don't even know relegation spots or something uh, so we had to win that one and it came against a pretty good team as well in Real Sociedad so maybe that's gonna turn things around a little bit for us I'm very happy about that and super proud of Ricky Puig's performance what a player and of course Adama Traore as well really setting nicely in so I'm happy about what I've seen so far but that is it for this time Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with episode number three. Peace out.